everyone, welcome back to the Vibrant Life Show here in the Cloud Dojo. I'm Corey, and this is your spot for inspiration on living a healthy, happy, and vibrant life. Today, I actually wanted to share several different ideas for workouts that I found very effective for myself and just give you lots of different ideas. So I don't know about you, but for me at least this time of year, and also to be honest, lots of other times of year, I kind of fall off the bandwagon with my exercise routine. I might have a really good rhythm and then something happens like we go on vacation or I get sick for a little while or like everyone in the family gets sick for a little while and it just throws off the rhythm. And so I find myself having to pick up the pieces and figure out how to start over. So that is one of the reasons why I feel like it is so important to have a lot of flexibility in your exercise routine. Another reason this is important, especially for women, is because we have different hormones throughout the month. So whereas a man typically will just wake up every single day and have pretty much the same hormone cycle. They run on a 24 hour cycle. We run basically on a 28 day cycle, like the moon. It's just gonna be different at different phases. I actually didn't know that growing up. Now it's this big thing. There's cycle syncing that I've started to discover over the last few years where people are recognizing, oh, we're different than men. And the world is kind of based for reasons we can talk about in another video on that 24 hour cycle. It's like we get up, we pretty much have to do and are expected to do the same thing every day. It's not like, well, the first week of the month is gonna be a little bit more chill. And then the second week of the month, like can you imagine if work places did that. Now it's the second week of the month. So now we're going to do more of our work the next couple weeks. And then in the last week of the month, we're all just going to like have a lot more breaks, take some naps, relax. Yeah. So however, we might not be able to do that in our daily lives, but there are ways that we can add that into our workout routine. That same principle of changing throughout the month, having different options at our disposal so that we never feel like we've just fallen off the bandwagon. We can go in different directions. So I actually sat down and made a list of all the different workouts that I like to do. And I have them categorized by what time of the month I might be more likely to do those in. So in this video, I wanted to kind of show a variety. In future videos, I'll show like what a week in my life of workouts and the different phases of the month look like. But right now I just wanted to give you a variety for those reasons, whether you know you want just different options at different times of the month or whether you know, you're like me and circumstances can change and you don't wanna just say, okay, well, my circumstances changed, I just have to give up my routine, but you wanna have some flexibility in there to say, okay, well, I can't do what I normally do, but I could do this other thing. So I'm just gonna share some of those different ideas, let you kind of get a sneak peek into some different types of workouts that I might do depending on how I'm feeling and what my life circumstances are like. All right, so I wanted to start out with the workout that I do when I feel like I don't even have time to change into workout clothes. I just want to wear what I'm wearing, get some movement in, and then go along through the rest of my day. And I typically do something that's standing and kind of low impact, but keeps me moving, keeps my joints working. And that's a really big reason that I work out is so that I can maintain mobility. I can get locked up so easily and feel very stiff. So I want to make sure that it's something that really gets me expanding and contracting, rotating, moving, but that I don't have to do a lot of up and down or on the ground stuff because then I would feel like I'd want to change into something else, but I can just do this workout in my regular clothes. And that is something Thing like qigong or tai chi or like in the martial art that we do there's these meditative movements that relate to the elements that are kind of similar to tai chi so yeah i just do things that allow my body to really open up and flow and expand a lot of it is matched with my breath and actually, you know, you can intensify this, you can take it a little faster, you can take it a little slower. There are so many good videos online. I will link my playlist below that I like to use when I'm doing this, and it's great, because you can just like, you know, cast it to your TV in the living room. If you don't feel like going out, it's a gray day like it is today. Or let's say you show up someplace 15 minutes early, you've got a park nearby, you can just hop out, put that video on from YouTube, and just watch and follow along to like 15 minutes just to get it in through your day. 
Now, if I'm really feeling just very chill, I will do some type of slow restorative yoga program. Now, I might do this like on a day when I'm just not feeling like doing much. Maybe I'm home, I'm just staying in my pajamas or I get home from running around and I'm so exhausted and I just change into my PJs early for the night and I do this like restorative yoga. So I'll link again a couple of videos below that are really nice to follow along with. Another one is um, I use the Insight Timer app. Sometimes they have live yoga classes that you can follow along with. So I would just look for yin yoga or restorative yoga. And once you learn a few of the poses, you don't even need a video. You know, you can just, if you've been going to yoga classes for a while, doing that restorative yoga, maybe put on some classical music or some instrumental music or like Starling Arrow. And not only does it feel really amazing during those times when you actually need something restorative, you don't, your body doesn't want to only do nothing and not move for a few days every month. There needs to be some type of movement, some type of conscious connection. So not only does that feel really good and restorative at those times, but then it's so much easier to jump back into more intense types of workouts when I have the energy and when my life allows for that. It's like I'm already in the habit of doing some type of workout. All right, the next category is doing things that our bodies are naturally made to do. So things that our human ancestors have been doing for hundreds of thousands of years, when we do that type of movement, it really is a game changer for our health. So I try to incorporate those things as often as possible. Number one is walking. I mean, there's countless studies that show how important walking is. So finding ways to make sure that walking is part of my week, part of my regular routine, and there's different ways that I do that, depending on you know how I'm feeling at the moment, what's going on in my life. Again, if I feel very busy and I don't really have a whole lot of time to get in a, a conscious, okay, now I'm going for a walk type of walk, I'll just park pretty far away from my destinations throughout the day and give myself an extra couple minutes to walk in. So I'm just getting in the habit of doing that. Then if I have a little more time or I've been really good about planning it into my life, then I might plan regular walks either solo or like on a phone call for meetings, maybe I'll be doing a walk and talk or just a really great way to connect with friends. A lot of my friends, when we wanna hang out with each other, going for a walk is one of our top options. We get to talk, we get to chat, and we get to experience our friendship too. And then of course, having a pet, a dog that you need to walk regularly is a really great way to make sure that you're going to get that in, rain or shine. And then there's lots of other natural movements that we can do outside. One is simply playing outside. So if you have kids or you just have a group of friends, go and like do activities outside that are just kind of playful, like hanging actually, like just hanging from trees for a little while is so restorative. It's really good for the shoulders. It's just a very natural movement for our bodies and just kind of like, I don't know, climb a tree, hang out, run around, play you know, be like, go on a hike with friends and then add in some playful time, like just get a little spontaneous and, um, and do, you know, some hanging or some climbing and things like that along with your hike. It's so beneficial for the body. And then of course, if you have kids, you know, play on the playground with them a little, don't only sit on the picnic tables and chat with the other parents, you know, go and play a little bit, hang from the monkey bars, swing a little bit. I know that makes me so dizzy, but like a little bit of movement here and there is actually just so helpful. Another really important one is gardening. You know, that's something we have been doing for a very long time, being out in nature, working with food, working with plants. And so whether you're, you know, pulling bags of soil, pushing a wheelbarrow, shoveling, digging, you know, down, squatting up and down, planting things, harvesting, or also going for walks in the woods. If you learn some good plants to gather, you know, just little things like that, going around and interacting with nature in a way that kind of gets your body moving and, and can engage your muscles. I mean, that's so good for our bodies. If we have bags of dirt, I'd be, you know, pouring those in or like we've actually been working um, on our garden and our farm to really build up our soils that I've created through compost system. 
with our chickens and um, kind of they do the natural tilling of the soil and then it kind of creates this layer of compost on top. And so then just like carrying that, shoveling that over to the raised bed that we're making, you know, things like that. Just it's so rewarding. It feels like I'm being so productive and I'm creating something and I'm cultivating the land and yet, you know, I'm getting a great workout at the same time. When I'm feeling a little bit more like, you know, ready to do some solid planned workouts in my day, I really do enjoy going to the gym because it's so versatile. Often, I used to get very rigid about the gym. I was sort of intimidated by it. I wanted to make sure that I had a planned out routine before I went. And sometimes that would even hinder me from going to the gym because I'd be like, oh, I don't really have a plan. I guess I just won't go. Well, when I started adapting a more playful like attitude about going to the gym, I could just show up and go, all right, I think today, you know, I, have, I did legs a couple days ago, so I'm going to work on my upper body now. And I'm just going to see if I can find five different movements that target five different muscles or, or kind of target them in different ways so that I get my full upper body workout in. And I'm just gonna, I don't even, sometimes I don't even count. I don't even count reps. I just go and do reps at a weight that feels hard but not too hard until my muscles are tired. And then I go on to a different activity and then I do that whole circuit again. You know, it can just be a little more gentle, a little more relaxed, a little more playful. And for me, that takes some of the pressure out of it and it actually ensures that I go more often. Another often overlooked workout is just body weight workouts. There are great classes where it's just a bunch of people, really no weights, hardly any equipment, and just moving our bodies, just strengthening with the weight of your body, with like resistance of your own body against either the floor or a bar. Also, you can watch a lot of great YouTube videos. There's a lot of good follow along videos. I'll link below a channel that I like for that exact type of workout. And then once you learn some of the basic moves, you can actually just do these workouts on your own. It's another great one where you could probably, for a lot of these, stay in whatever you're wearing if you have something kind of comfortable on and just throw that workout in as a kind of in a low impact way. Or you could, you know, really make that a full hour and go for it. And you can really do these things on your own. They're pretty basic movements. It's a lot of kind of primal movements and things that our bodies are going to be naturally doing anyway because you know we didn't always have this fancy gym equipment and so you can kind of learn those moves and then just create your own workout if you're feeling like doing that i have been surprised how great a workout i can get and how much of a burn i can feel just from body weight workouts another workout that i absolutely love to do and it's also like this community vibe is called Scorch Fitness here in Asheville. There's a place that we go to, but there's also, I think a lot of them following this method, the Legree method just around the country. It's, it's one of those fun group workout classes. And I think that you can kind of do that in many different ways, but this one is particularly good because it targets all the, sometimes the smaller muscles, the muscles that kind of more support the skeleton and the joints I've found. And I mean, it really targets, feels like it's targeting the entire body, but it's low impact. It's high intensity. You will definitely feel a burn. You're tired after, I mean, it's a tough 45 minutes, but it's low intensity. So actually my whole body feels so much better. My joints feel really good. If I, if I have like a tweaky hip or a tweaky knee or something like that, it's not the workout to avoid. It's actually the one that I want to go to at those times. So I really highly recommend it. Here you can see I am definitely sweating. They do so many different movements and they do them in a really well thought out sequence. So you're targeting all these different sections of the body in these really intelligent ways that just give you a total body workout. So while it is not at all easy, it's fun and it's rewarding. It's fun because you've got a whole group of people that are all kind of in it together in the same room and there's, you know, music to pump you up and, you know, it's just like a community vibe. So I feel like that you can find in a lot of different places, but I specifically like the machines that they use. It's kind of like a Pilates, machine, but it's a little bit for me user friendly. Like you can kind of jump right into a class at Scorch, whereas at some Pilates studios I've been to, you have to really get to know the machine for a while before you can go into the machines class. So it's like you can kind of just jump in. It's ready, ready to go. 
So probably my favorite type of workout is dance classes. I go to a lot of different varieties of dance classes. And of course it depends on, you know, your town and what's offered there. Where I'm from, there's some classes that are a lot more open and you can kind of move how you want to move and they'll play different types of music. So that's really special. But another, you know, type I like to go to are technique classes. So I really get to, and to me, those build the most muscle because you really have to work out specific movements and kind of do them in repetition and oh, does it burn, but it feels so good. Plus it's a great cardio workout. And you also, when you're doing any type of dance class, you get to really express. So there's something that feels kind of spiritually cathartic and releasing about it. So I love that. And then also there's like dance fitness classes that are a little bit more for the cardio. They're hyped up, but still an amazing workout and always like a good community. For me, like community building is, you know, having that connection is a really important part of my fitness routine in general. I'm fine to go to the gym, go on walks on my own, do some Qigong at home on my own, all that, but I need to weave it in with stuff where I'm like going for a walk with friends or doing a group fitness class. Along those lines, my last idea is all the different sports. You know, you'd be surprised. You don't just have to join some league to be able to have fun working out on a sport activity. Like you can get together with friends and do, you know, just get a couple of rackets and play tennis back and forth in the local park. Or of course there's pickleball, which I know nothing about, but people seem to love it. So comment below if you know about pickleball and if you can attest to it, it sounds fun. And then, you know, I mean, you can always pick up a basketball and go to your local community center or Y and like do some layups. You know, if you have played basketball when you were younger, like me, shoot around a little bit. I'm so shocked at how much that works me out. Just like 15 minutes of running around with a basketball in the gym or, you know, join like the volleyball league is big in my town. So it's something I've considered joining at some point, you know, that's one where you're kind of locked in. You got to show up regularly for your team, but sometimes that's good. Sometimes, you know, to have a series like that can really get you motivated and keep you on track. All right, everyone. Those are my workout ideas to spice up and spruce up and spring clean your fitness routines this spring. I hope they inspired you and please like this video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Here's wishing you a healthy, happy, and vibrant week ahead. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.